Paul has to this point dealt with the some that trouble you among the Galatian believers, having noted that they did so preaching. Another gospel, which is not another, in such manner that it would pervert the gospel of Christ. Galatians 1, 6b7 He ended this discussion instructing the Galatian believers in our last session, noting that they should not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another, as regards Holy Spirit's fruit. Now Paul, in what is Galatians 6, turns to what may have been an instance where vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another, had already become a problem among the Galatian believers. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Galatians 6 verses 1 to 5 Let's take a look at this instruction. Certainly, per Paul's instruction, practices among believers that involve vainglory, provoking one another, Envying one another would be such believers who were overtaken in a fault. Maybe this was the case Paul addressed, or maybe it was some other practices that resulted from the legalism, that resulted from seeking to be in obedience of the law. Regardless, the remedy for one having been overtaken in a fault would necessarily involve those among the Galatian believers, which are spiritual. Example, one's not found walking in the same types of behaviors and those spiritual believers were not to be judgmental as they approached the one overtaken in a fault. Rather their goal was to restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. Also, the motive of such restoration was to be, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ, again pointing to the real law that grace believers should be seeking to fulfill. Example love which fulfills the law. Having a pure motive in restoration was so important in dealing with one overtaken in a fault that those spiritual believers undertaking the effort would need to be considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted, a very real and valid consideration. Paul adds further insight as regards restoration of the believer overtaken in a fault by those who were spiritual, adding that should those restoring think themselves, to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Pridefulness among those going to the believer in fault could only result in a failed restoration effort, and fault upon those deceiving themselves by so doing finally, as regards living out from being crucified with Christ. The believer must needs remember that it must be from the source Christ, that is consistent with the not I, but Christ life. Galatians 2 verse 20 in other words, the believer must be continually remembering that the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Believer, be spiritual by the not I, but Christ's life that is fruit of the Spirit and lived by the faith of the Son of God.